Uh, it's gotta be eight years since I've used this. I don't know if it holds air. No clue. I definitely do not have a pump for it. So I live fairly close to the river. I have an air compressor. I'm gonna fill it up here, get down to the river somehow, float down the river, and then I can empty it out of air when I get to the bottom, load it into a backpack. Scooters can come with me in the river in a raft that probably won't float. Haven't thought this through it yet, but uh, need a mental health break. Gotta do it. Baby air compressor is all I got. Yeah. Oh, good. There's a zipper. I've done this before. Maybe. Oh, I hear a leak. I can hear it leaking out of here. I don't think duct tape is the uh, repair choice of champions, but I can always blow it up with my mouth as I'm going down the river. I might actually take this entire roll with me. So, clean all the dust off. Tape feels pretty sturdy. Okay, I doubt it wants to hold a lot of pressure but the sound of air leaking has stopped. Tape. So with this bag, I can put the raft into the bag. Now I just have to get to the river. Oh yeah. Yeah, this looks like a good enough spot. Nothing's messed up here. Just a normal thing to do. Oh dear. <laughs> Not soaked yet. Key phrase. Yet. All right, how's this gonna work? Works. The only slight concern is the second I hit the current, I'm gonna hit that in my exceptionally seaworthy craft. So let's try to get as much distance away from shore as possible. Oh yeah. <laughs> Happy sailing now. Life is good from here on out. Just go for a cruise. So I am in Bowness Park, Bow River here in Calgary. And uh, we are heading to Shouldice. Shouldice or Edworthy, depending on how confident I am in my uh, pool toy at that point in time. Either way, I can scoot home. I could go all the way downtown. Ha! Love it! Oh yeah. Step one, actually float. Step two, a nice, refreshing, non-alcoholic beverage. Camping with Steve would be proud. I'm fast approaching that bridge. I do not want to be hitting anything or scraping over any rocks with my scooter precariously mounted in front here. 
still fairly relaxing as far as these things go. At the very least, it's a uh, it's a mental health break. I'm thinking about the river right now and nothing else. So that's that's always a bonus. Cheers to everyone out there. I hope you can uh, feel the same way. Just passing the 85th Street Bridge here into Bowness. Did not take long to just absolutely switch gears and start loving life again. The river is therapy, friends. Coming on to about 9 p.m. and the sun is still up. Summertime is wonderful. Yeah, this is so relaxing. During the uh, 2013 flood, the water was up to about a foot below that train bridge. It was absolutely insane. I live like two blocks from this river and it is absolutely gorgeous. And this is the first time I've floated down this river in like five years. Well, eight years. I need to do this more often. Coming up behind me here is uh, Waterfall Valley from Silver Springs. And there's exposed bedrock in that little creek. Never found any gold there, but because there's bedrock, you can actually find little lead pellets. Just everything that kind of washes down. So, decent enough place to go practice. Uh-oh. Really starting to deflate now. Uh, I'm going to attempt to crawl over to the other end where the valve is and blow into it a little bit. A little mouth to mouth with my uh, flotation device here. Bit of a battle keeping afloat here. I'm uh, reaching ahead to this valve right there, sort of awkwardly puffing air into it to keep this thing from getting too low in the water. But yeah, I may have to uh, patch these leaks properly or maybe upgrade the raft at some point. Maybe not, why, why not use something that works perfectly fine, right? Anyways, still afloat, just loving life. I haven't <laughs> sunk yet, but it is getting awfully close. Anytime there's waves, it, it comes dangerously close to just sloshing in here. See, now there's something I don't quite get. Because it's not a matter of if the Bow River's gonna flood. It's a matter of when. And the 2013 flood for the Bow wasn't even a 100-year flood. It was a 250-year flood for the Elbow and where they met downtown at Wreck Havoc. But all these houses down here are like, yeah, we don't want a berm in our backyard. And yet, when it floods, I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of insurance money. It looks like Emily was here. Good job, Emily. Probably be pulling out of the water just in time for sunset. I started taking on a little bit of water, but I was able to blow it up again. And I think right around this corner is my bridge. So hopefully I just don't sink before then. The scooter is still dry and I'm mostly afloat. The Sholdice Bridge, there it is. I made it, I actually made it. I gotta plan my escape here. I think it's gonna be to the left, right after the bridge, there's probably gonna be some slack water I can pull out. It's the water this high, you kinda gotta pick your spot carefully. Very close to having water come into the boat. That's my target. So I'm kind of just trying to pull in at the front so I don't keep spinning. I'm able to move myself with one oar. Okay, so those trees up ahead I think is the target. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to say it too soon, but I think I'm going to make it out of this thing alive. And... There's shore. I want to go to this little gravel beach area right over here. I'm going to get pulled downstream. 
Okay, just look at how flat this thing is. It is just <laughs> absolutely barely afloat right now. Gotta do one. Nothing in that pen. I'm gonna pack everything up and then do a few more. Oh, I didn't expect any anyways. Confidently say that was hands down the most fun I've had in the last week. Uh, awesome little idea, actually worked out. So life's about right there. Uh, so this thing, my scooter review part of the video. This is the Unagi Model One E500. It's a dual motor, 500 watts, super light scooter. Real easy to fold down and it weighs like nothing. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like 28 pounds. Um, so if you want actual scooter stats, this is not the channel for you. However, if you want to know, will the Unagi Model 1 fit in your pool toy to float down the river and then functionally ferry your stuff back up river when you're done? That's a big hell yes. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, you can find these used occasionally for a bit of a bargain because, you know, things cost a lot of money new. But otherwise, I would say, hey, if you don't need to go really long distances, this is a wicked scooter. Way more fun than I ever expected it to be. I'm riding this thing everywhere with $2 gas. Uh, that's all I got to say. I'm going to pack up, go to shower, and I'm out. Again, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.